Hey guys, my name is Victoria Estrada and I'm the head sommelier of this Alice. And in today's episode, we will talk about what wines to give for Women's Day. Women's Day is approaching, it's the 8th of March, and we are all looking for presents to give our loved ones and the special woman in our life, being your mother, your grandmother, your partner, your sister. It doesn't matter, we have selected 10 top wines to give in this very special day. My top 10 is a very easy wine, easy to drink, nice, you won't uh, be mistaken with that, it's your safe option if you don't know exactly what taste does a woman in your life like. So I would take this one, Terra, um, Terra de Cusau. It's a vino verde, it's an albariño, a Portuguese albariño. The aromas in this wine are very fruity and mineral, typical of an albariño wine. And in the mouth is very fresh. So this is literally a crowd pleaser because it's a very easy to drink wine. It, you can pair it with seafood, with white meats, with shellfish. So it's a, it's a perfect wine to, to welcome the spring. So this is my top 10. Going to my top 9. So top 9 I would take now, we're going to a red wine, a Cabernet Sauvignon from 2021. This is produced by Doña Paula Winery. Doña Paula Winery is a family winery located in Mendoza, Argentina. You can see here the, in, the, in the label, you can see the, the mountains and here is, are the vineyards. So because it's in a very high altitude, it's a very easy to drink wine. It's, it doesn't have a very high alcoholic content, it's only a 13.5, so for a Cabernet Sauvignon it's quite good. So what does Los Cardos mean? Los Cardos means the thistles in Spanish. So this bottle is a clear representation of the terroir of Argentina, of Mendoza. This Cabernet Sauvignon is spicy and very expressive. It has aromas of black currant and it has a long soft finish. So this wine is perfect too. It's very easy to pair. It, if you don't know a lot of wines and you think that the woman in your life likes wines but you, you really don't know which is her favorite taste, and she likes a red wine, then I would go for this one because it's a very easy going wine that you can pair with other type of foods. So we turn to, I'm going to order them. Top 10, top 9, then top 8. Well, this is a, it's a hard choice because the wines are very good. So I would take for my top 8 a rosé wine. It's from Alentejo and it's a very nice uh, rosé wine. It's from the winery A. Erda de Dos Lagos and you can see HPL. And it's an organic wine that does the biodynamic also viticulture. And you can see here the label of sustainable uh, produce. The owners are a German family, they have a logistics company. And when, because they travel a lot, they went to Portugal, to Alentejo, and they fell completely in love with the view, the landscape, and the people of that area of Portugal. So they bought a vineyard and they, they built a winery. All of their wines are focused on achieving the highest quality and respecting the environment. So I think, I personally think that they are doing an excellent job because this rosé wine it's very aromatic, it's fresh, it's easy to drink, you can pair it. This is the perfect way to welcome spring. So this is my top 8 wine, I'm going to put it here. So top 7, it's, it's getting complicated because the, the wines are great. I don't know which one to choose, so it's getting a bit complicated and very exciting. Um, then let's go for Italian wine. I would take this one, Santa Margarita, it's a Pinot Grigio one. This one is from the denomination of origin control, the control denomination of origin, which is one of the highest in Italy, so it's already a, a mark of quality, if it's a control denomination of origin, and it's Valladisha. It's a Santa Margarita winery, it's one of the, it's a very old winery, 
and they really know what they are doing because they have been doing this for many years. The aromas, they have an intense and an intense aromas and very, very polished with a notes of pear and melon and it, it's a very round wine. Here you can see the, the winery, the label. It's a very, this is a very classical wine. So if you don't really know what to give to, you, uh, to the woman in your life, and you know she likes more classical, this wine is for her. And it has 12.5 alcohol content, so it's, it's a fresh wine uh, with white meat and white fish. So Pinot Grigio is a very nice grape. And then in order to enjoy it the best, I would recommend to serve it at eight, between 8 and 10 degrees. So you can uh, smell the, all the aromas and you can get all the expression of this wine. So we're going to put it here. My top seeds. Top seeds, um, I would recommend, yes, I would travel, now we're traveling back to Spain for this organic white wine, very sweet wine. And this really is, um, if you know that the woman in your life loves sweet things, this is her wine. Well, this wine is produced by Emilio Valerio. It's a family winery located in Navarra. This wine, this sweet wine, is very, very nice. And this sweet wine is done by, by Malvasia grapes in vineyards that are located at 500 meters of latitude. We recommend pairing this wine because it's a sweet wine. And when you taste it, you want to keep drinking it because it's, it's really, it's great. It's actually very nice. So this wine is perfect for, for appetizers, like to start and open in your palate or foie gras, it's great with foie gras or blue cheeses or for dessert. So this is a dessert wine. So now we're going back to Italy, to Sicily. My top five wine is this one and it's a red wine, an organic red wine from Sicily. It's a denomination of controlled origin from Sicily. And you can see in the label that it's a wine for him and for her, like Situ and Sita, and it is a present because this wine it's meant to be shared with your loved one. So um, this the label is a clear representation of what this wine is all about. The winery Luna Sicana, it's a new winery that what they wanted to do is to modernize the way um, Sicilian wines were made and were uh, and were marketed. So they, what they're doing is they are looking for excellent quality and that's why they are doing organic wines that take into, into account the environment. It has very, it's a full-bodied wine with aromas of raspberries, black currant, so it's a very powerful wine. We recommend pairing this wine with beef and with lamb. And of course, you need to share it with your loved one, this wine, because it's all about sharing this wine. There are four left, so let's see our top four. I would go for Terra Remota. It's an organic winery located in Empordà, in Catalonia, in the northern part of, of Catalonia. And then this winery, they are looking to do biodynamic wines, um, organic wines, always taking into account the vineyards and the planet. In this label, you can see it's the winemaker. This wine is a clear representation of her character. She is a very uh, powerful woman. She is very strong and she, and she likes um, to find the highest quality in wines. So uh, this wine is also very expressive. Uh, we met her and she's very open and she's very friendly. So even though this is a Grenache red wine, um, a very high quality Grenache wine, you can see that when you taste it, it's very open, it's easy, it's, it's very welcoming, just like her character. So if you don't know what taste does uh, the woman in your life have and you want a nice quality, high quality red wine, a Grenache wine, I would go definitely for this one. So now we have our top three wines. We're going back also, um, we're staying in Spain in this, in this case, 
and we are traveling to the north of Spain to Rioja, to Cerro La Isa. This, um, this wine it comes from a um, very old vineyard. It's a hand harvested. It's like the flagship of the winery Juan Carlos Sancha. It's an organic wine made of Grenache 100%, also like this one. If you buy these two wines, you will see the difference in, in the two wines because even though the two are excellent wines, done 100% with Grenache and more or less of the same vintage, this one is 2019 and this one 2018, you will taste the difference in the terroir. The terroir of the Lampurda, which has like um, which has notes of the Mediterranean, and here you can see in a higher latitude La Rioja, and it's a um, well you will you will taste it's a different one. You can see the terroir it's different, even though it's the same grape. The conditions where it grows are different, so there are two different ones. And um, also, this is a very full-bodied wine with um, aromatic intensity of raspberries, blackberries, la courant. It has spice. It has notes of spiciness because it has aged in French oak barrels, and it's very nice. It's also organic. So, if you want to do a very nice present for this Woman's Day, I would take these two, and then you can play around and taste the difference between the two Grenache in the same country, different area, different era. Now we have two, two left um, and I will, for this woman's day, I will go for my top two option, a Southern wine. This is um, an excellent wine in Bordeaux, in the area of Southern. Now it's very popular, the Southern, because it's a sweet wine, a very high quality sweet wine. Well, this one is done in Zanzibar by the Thin Pond uh, family. It's a, it's a finally a family of winemakers. It's a family winery. Um, it's already the fifth generation working in the winery, so they really know what they are doing because they, they've seen how the taste has evolved of the people. So for this woman's day, I would recommend a Southern wine. It's a, it's a, fresh wine, an opening wine, a very aromatic and balanced sweet wine. So it's very easy to drink this one. When you open a bottle, you will definitely finish it because it's, uh, it's sweet, it's, it's nice. You will keep drinking it with food or without food. But I would recommend, of course, a carrot with food because it's always nicer to balance it with food. For food, I would say, I would suggest to take it as an appetizer and to open and clean your palate or with foie gras it's always nice and you can also try it with uh, blue cheeses and also for dessert so the saturn's wine in this one it's a delicious wine and most of all it's an organic one so to get this quality of wine in saturn's and organic it's really a very hard job and i think the thin Pond family succeeded with the job and finally, my top one wine is, of course, a champagne. You cannot uh, go wrong with a champagne in Woman's Day. Champagne, it's great. It's the Canard du Chêne. It's one of the most popular champagnes in France. It's a very well-known and respected brand in the champagne area and all over France and also internationally. And if you want some bubbles, some fresh bubbles, you will find it here. Champagne, it's a tribute to the founder, so it's really the flagship of the house. So this is a Cuvée Leoni Brut. They use the noble scripts and with a Pinot dominance. So this one, it's great. I'm going to, it has aromas, it has very fresh aromas, very opening aromas. It's, it's a champagne in all of its expression. So what you like of champagne, you will definitely find it in this bottle. So here we have my top 10 options. Um, remember that all of them are great wines and if you want a rosé wine or a white wine and, and you, and of course, this is very personal. It's just that for this day, I think these are the best wines um, in this order. Of course, all the wines are great and you can always 
uh, try them yourself and let us know what you think. We have all of these wines in our web store, thisandthis.com. We are doing a lot of promotions and we have huge discounts in our web store for this Women's Day. You will find Rioja wines, white wines, Empordan wines, organic wines, all are discounted and in our web store. So don't forget to check it out because it's a great opportunity for this Women's Day to go and buy your, your favorite woman a bottle of wine.